Hey, hey, Nassau Bay, this is Ashley Graves, and I am over the moon about where we are today. For decades, history has been made here, just across the street from Nassau Bay. So the manned space flight program is something that's been revitalized here recently. And what, in your opinion, makes that so important? I know you mentioned the robot earlier, but there truly is something about humans going into space that we feel the need to continue. Can you tell us about that? Well, space is the great frontier, and it's always fascinated humanity. We've always looked to the stars and try to understand and draw meaning from the stars and the celestial bodies. And I think that continues today. This is a particularly exciting time because uh, we're returning to flight with U.S. vehicles with partnerships through Boeing and SpaceX to the International Space Station. We're also looking at opportunities for the private sector to work with the return to the moon and then into deeper space. Uh, we're creating a new space platform, which will be a vehicle that's a elliptical orbit around the moon from where we'll have astronauts occupying it for maybe up to six weeks a year, but they'll be using it as a stepping point to return to the surface of the moon and then to come back again on their way back to Earth. So it's a very different approach and philosophy from the past. But our goal is to return to the moon because the south pole of the moon has glaciers. And we didn't know this until a couple of decades ago, but there are literally millions of gallons of frozen water in the south pole of the moon. Amazing. So that means a lot. That means, well, could we make that potable for us to consume and use to grow food? Could we break down the water into its elements, H2O and hydrogen and oxygen, uh, that could be used as a fuel uh, and air to breathe? So there are a lot of possibilities that it opens that didn't exist before. Because the hardest part about going to space is getting off the surface of Earth. Because our gravitational pull is so strong and it's what maintains our atmosphere and enables us to live the way we do in all the kind of life forms sure. on the surface of Earth. So to answer your question, that's kind of gives you context for it. Uh, the public is fascinated because now that we know there's water in the moon, we know there's water on most planets in our solar system and many of the moons around those planets, it opens up the possibility of life or life being able to be sustained on those bodies. Wow. And so we're one of billions and billions of solar systems and galaxies and we're learning that there are more and more and more of them. So it suggests that there could be life or life could exist on those other bodies. That's so exciting. I think that really does fascinate the public. Uh, the other kind of measure I use is why are there always feature films about space exploration? Yes. And Hollywood would not make those films where they're not public demand and interest. And why do those films become blockbusters? Why do those films uh, receive recognition and awards because they really embody our passion interests and kind of our dreams in many ways. Well, it sounds like we have a lot of exploration coming up, exciting, exciting things. And thank you for being here with us today and telling us a little more about that. I've, I've learned a lot and I'm excited. And I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll think we're on Mars. Do you think they'll believe us? <laughs> Well, the rover behind us is actually fascinating uh, because it is a prototype rover being developed for exploration in other bodies, and they're at, it's on the floor right now over at the vehicle model facility. Wonderful. Maybe we'll see it today. Well, thank you, Mr. Harris. I appreciate it. It was a wonderful time speaking with you and learning all about what Space Center Houston has to offer. Thank you. Here at Space Center Houston, there are interactive, educational, and fascinating exhibits where you can learn about the history and future of the space program. You can even touch a rock from Mars. I feel like I should make a wish. From our space to yours, this is Ashley Graves. Start your countdown now for a visit to Space Center Houston. It's just across the street from where we love to live, work, and play in Nassau Bay. Visit spacecenter.org for tickets or become a member for special events, discounts, and additional benefits.